I guess we'll start with Ohio State, Indiana, man. I it, a team that <laughs> we both. I, I guess like Indiana, the way that they had been winning ball games made me believe that they could compete with the best of them. And offensively, we got the bad side of Curtis Rourke. And this was just also an incredible talent mismatch, right? Ohio State is is and should be one of the favorites to win the national championship. They are probably, in my opinion, the most talented team in the country. If I was to pick a national championship winner right now, it'd probably be Ohio State. And especially after this game. I did have Indiana on my dirty dogs, though, just because of the way that they had been playing football. And I do think that Kurt Signetti is just a wonderful, unbelievable coach. And Mike Shanahan had been doing awesome work for them this whole season. And in the first quarter, you know, it's tied 7 whereas you're up 7 0. And then in the second quarter, it's 7 7. You're like, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? And then the second half just happened. Curtis Work, 8 of 18 for 68 yards. I mean, you got a little bit going on the run game, but Curtis Work just got mutilated in the backfield. Uh, Simon had two and a half sacks. Let's see, Jack Sawyer had one and a half sacks. JT Tumaloa had a sack as well. So, I mean, it was just, it was murder. It was murder for the Ohio State Buckeyes on the defensive side of the football. It was, and for the other side too, Ohio State's offensive line did enough, right? They they kept well, well Howard upright. They were able to run the ball with some efficiency, especially with Henderson in the game. And Howard was 22 of 26, super efficient. They got it done. You talked about, I asked you, give me someone on Ohio State that we need to watch for, key players of the game. And you mentioned the two addressers, JTT and Jack Sawyer, and they showed up. I talked about the offensive line, or excuse me, I talked about the front seven and how athletic the linebackers are. We saw Cody Simon make play after play after play. Uh, yeah, this Ohio State defense is really, really impressive. And I think that is super encouraging because I trust Will Howard. I trust at least one of the running backs in Henderson or Judkins in each game. And yeah, this was really impressive to battle back after going down 7 nothing in Indiana team who has jumped on teams all year and been really impressive, and you just kind of stifled them. You got the turnover, you kind of responded, and you slowly, slowly just bled the life out of them. This was an impressive win. I think Ryan Day really needed it. I think Indiana, it helps them because, you know, they have a team in Ole Miss and a team in Alabama and A&M. A couple of SEC teams losing probably helps their case, and we'll see what happens with Clemson and, and South Carolina down there in the SEC, but Man, oh, man, I, I think Indiana – I think he plays game again. You know, I don't think you probably lose by 23. I, I You'd hope Curtis Rourke gets a little bit more going through the air, but I think also this defense is for real for Ohio State. We talked about Elijah Surratt being a guy that could make plays, and he made a couple, but not enough, not nearly enough to get this offensive game, offensive passing game going consistently for Indiana. The crowd was awesome for Ohio State. This was a big game. It felt like a playoff game. And early on, it was. It was back and forth. There was tension. I think Ohio State was you know, maybe a little bit tight early on, and, and they settled in nicely. And like you said, yeah, they they are one of the best teams in the country right now, if not the best. And with the way that the SEC is looking and the way that Oregon has been looked recently, like it, Ohio State, it's going to be a fun game, I think, them and Oregon. And we'll see what happens there um, in the Big Ten championship game. But for Indiana, they're still in the playoff. Yeah, probably. I mean, 23 points is tough, but if Texas lost by double digits, Georgia lost by double digits, like, you know what I mean? 